point two at Chateau de Montmagne, and it's an exciting week this week. It's my fiftieth birthday, so we're having a big celebration at the end of the week. Um, we've invited all the people that we've met since we've been over here um, to the celebration, and it'll be really nice because it, France is starting to open up again, and um, we haven't sort of interacted with a lot of people. For 15 months since we've been here, you know, we've we've seen people in, in twos and threes and things like that, but getting a, a big gathering together. So there's loads of things that's going to go on. Um, it'll be exciting to see them and celebrate my birthday, but also exciting. A lot of them haven't been here since we have sort of started renovating. So they haven't seen a lot of the transformation. So that'll be really interesting to see what their expression is on it and um, or opinion is on it. And um, yeah, and see what they think of it. Hope they like it. Um, so yeah, we've got a really heavy week. This week is going to be long, arduous, hard working because we have got to dress all apartment one. Another um, really exciting thing that's gonna happen is we're moving into apartment one. No more bed in the tea room, it's going in there. We're gonna go to the Brocan, have a look at some furniture, buy some furniture for in there because we need a wardrobe and bits and bobs anyway. Um, We've got the garden to try and sort out. We're hopefully having a delivery of the garden furniture that thank you to everybody out there. Um, hopefully in this video, you will see a lot of the items that you have helped us buy because um, the GoFundMe page, the um, buy me a coffee especially, a lot of that was to be able to dress the tea room and buy the furniture for outside for the eating area. So um, that's hopefully turning up this week that we can use for the party. And the party also is a little bit of a tester for us as hostesses. We've never really done the hospitality thing before. You know, I've organised a lot of events in my charity career, but we've never really done this whole hospitality thing. So one, I'm going to be doing all the cooking for it. Two, um, we're going to try and dress as much as we can, although we still have a lot of things to get. Um, and, you know, at the moment, it's sort of money is, is really tight. So uh, we are literally down to the wire. So... We're trying to do everything we can by, <clears throat> excuse me, trying to do everything we can by making it um, as much as we can, what we find in the barns, revamping things. And um, yeah, so lots going on anyway. Hope you enjoy the video. And then hopefully at the end, we'll just show you a little bit about us having a party, having a bit of celebration and, um, and enjoying my 50th. And we'll just see how far we get this week. I know in my mind where I want us to get to, I think we're probably going to run out of time, but but let's see what happens. Um, it's a good week. It's a great week at Chateau de Montmagne. Let's go. Right. It's not as bad as the list on the side of the fridge that you had. It was double, double, okay, so it's the list on the side of the fridge that you had. Okay, meet Sam and Tony. Oh, yeah. You may already know them from um, Air Move to France. They've got a YouTube channel, so if you haven't seen it, check it out. But they've come over to help us today, <laughs> and they asked me to do a list for them. <laughs> <laughs> not sure if they expected this long a list. No, Let's have I a didn't look. even expect a list to be honest. <laughs> What's that? Right. Do me last I've been planted. How many hours we got to I've do done this? that? Uh, and I. Why did the driveway have that one? We've got five hours to get this done. Oh, can't make it. Those stakes. Oh, okay. Can you take on the challenge? Yeah, yeah we'll do it. Okay. <laughs> So first job of the day, move the wood into the barn so me and Sam can get on with the weeding.
So we're in apartment two now, uh, my temporary sewing room. And um, it's really exciting because we're getting to the dressing stage now, dressing all the furniture and uh, the bed and everything. The bed's being moved right as we speak by Dave and Ted from the tea room into apartment one. And I picked up some amazing fabric from the, the fabric shop, the tissue shop, the tissue magazine. magazine. Um, and I'm going to make a beautiful bedspread and some pillowcases and I'm going to do a bed crown. Now, Ted has made a bed crown for me. I'll show you this in more detail a bit later. First off, what I'm doing is doing the bedspread. So this fabric was a steel. It was in the cell, it's thick, it's luxurious. If you was to buy a big king size bed throw in this sort of material, it would probably cost about 100 pounds, um, if not more. So I'm going to make it. Um, the fabric was fairly expensive, but I got some money for my birthday and um, I decided to spend it on this because I love dressing the room. Um, I love having all this luxurious fabric. And as much as I've got a load of fabric up in the caravan, I didn't have enough that would fit a big king size bed. So, um, so yeah, so this in total, enough material for me to make the bed crown, the bed throw, the pillowcases, and perhaps a few more little pillars to dot around, has cost me 40 euros. That's nothing compared to what it would cost me if I had to, to buy all this. So, um, so I'm gonna make the bed spread. It's a large, obviously bed, large piece of material, so that's gonna take me a little while. I really wanna get this done before the end of the week. This is one of my main things that I just want to dress that bed so it looks really beautiful. Um, so let's go for it. Okay, so I am down in apartment one. I finished the bedspread and the pillowcases. And um, just wanted to show you really what I've done. I have on the bed throw, I have made a square bed throw. And then on the ends of it, I have put a kind of lapel um, so that it folds nicely down the back of the bed and down the front of the bed, but doesn't form any puckering up or anything along the sides. I really like a bedspread to be nice, smooth and look really neat. So that's why I've done this. So um, it tucks nicely into here. And what it means is that the side still hangs really lovely. So that's my bedspread. And there's my pillowcases. Now, what I have done on the pillowcases is I've put these press studs. Now, I hate it when pillowcases sort of gape open. So that's why I've done these. And, um, and I think it just finishes it off really nicely. But um, yeah, so there's my lovely pillowcases. So, bed Welcome. complete. Yeah, very nice. Look at that. You like it? I do like it. I think it's really nice. And there's a, a little hat on the top there. Called a crown baby. Oh, it's called a crown. Well, that's a hat, isn't it? That's a hat by any other name. So, so are you happy with it? This, that's the yeah, thing. Yeah, just to reiterate, Ted made the bed. Um, I didn't put the duvet on, by the way. <laughs> actually made the bed. 
Um, and all of this, so the fabric that did the, um, the topper, or the, the throw, the pillowcases, the crown, cost £44. Now, to buy all this in the shop, and this material is beautiful, isn't it, baby? Oh, really, you know, I, I'm not a great aficionado with any of this stuff, but this is really pretty. It's really lovely. Um, and, you know, I'm pretty sure if I'd have tried to buy this, it would have cost at least a hundred quid, um, at least a hundred quid, and and obviously I've been able to make the throw, uh, the crown, and the pillowcases as well. Um, this material was in the cell. Um, we had how many meters? It takes quite a lot to to do. So I think you had ten meters of that, did you? No, that was for the curtains and all of that stuff. Oh, okay. For the bed, I had uh, four metres. Four metres. Um, and that was a seven fifty a metre, it was, a yeah. So, so you're talking 30 quid. 30 quid. So 30 all euro. in all, to dress this, it's cost me under 100 quid. So, yeah, 75, 75 euros to dress the bed. Which is pretty good going, and all the timber, you know, to, to construct the crown, and obviously the the bed, you know, I'd made years ago anyway. But I'm working on, um, probably to do the crown was no more than a few pound, a few euros, really. Yeah. Uh, the bed, again, even over here, I think you're looking at no more than a hundred euros to make the bed. For the timber, yeah. Yeah, for the timber. And obviously, it's just time and effort, you know, and it's, and it's that's the thing that we like to do. We like to put a bit of time and effort in it because oh, then it looks it looks like this. I think it looks, su you know, I think it looks superb. For, so, say, so add all that together, 175 quid for a bed. Just dress all this, Dress yeah. the bed, the yeah. whole works. Yeah. That's bloody cheap. Now, the mattress, which is one of the most heaviest mattresses in living memory. Sue Abs. Sue Abs. So maybe you watch it. Still, still going strong, so it's beautiful. Still got your and and uh, Sue, so, uh, you never told us how much it cost, but I bet it was probably about a grand. It's, still a bloody good <laughs> it's so fantastic, it really is. And we have been we've been in here for a few days now, and it has both of us have gone. Did you sleep really well last night? Oh yeah, it was so we lovely. So I think the the nice thing as well is because it is, it's got to be, maybe even well certainly from outside it's at least ten twelve degrees cooler in here. Oh god, yeah, it's lovely in here. Yeah, the dogs keep coming in here because it's so cool. Yeah, yeah, which is lovely. But I'm yeah, I'm really pleased with it actually. I really think it looks great. I think it looks great. Yeah, you know. Okay, so preparations for the party are going on. Um, we have ordered um, some gazebos, a couple of gazebos, and some outside eating furniture, um, and some more parasols from the GoFundMe money that um, people have donated to. So thank you to everybody who's donated to that fund. Um, it's still ongoing. There's still lots more to buy, but uh, we're really pleased with the furniture we've ordered. However... As always, um, it has been delayed and it's not going to be here until after the party. So we can't use it for the party. So we've got to think about what, we're, how we're going to seat people at the party because we've got to think about distancing still um, and, um, and making sure there's enough seating, but also undercover because it's going to be really, really hot on Saturday. Um, it's going to be up to about 32, 33. So, um, so yeah, so I'm outside. So what we've decided is we're going to, we've got a lot of large tables, um, our old kitchen table, tables that have been given to us, um, and we're going to put them outside. We've got the two large parasols that were brought by um, the GoFund. No, they, wasn't, they were brought on the gift registry by um, a couple of their patrons. Um, thank you so much for them because they're going to come in really handy. So we're going to have a couple of the big parasols up. Our farmers are going to bring down a few of their parasols that we can have. And we're going to put the big tables outside 
But we've also found these lovely oak tables that we found in the barn when we got here. Um, and um, we've got four of them. So we're going to put them inside and I'm going to renovate some of the chairs that we've got um, and do a bit of a, an upholstery and a clean up. We've got loads of chairs. So I'm going to do a bit of an upholstery and clean up, have them inside um, so that people can either go in if they want a bit of shade. It's really cool in the tea room, which is nice. Um, and sit outside if, if they want so we can spread people about a bit. So, um, yeah. Yeah, the idea is I'm going to start cleaning up these oak tables and give them a wax, clean up wax, and uh, and see what they come up like. Um, so yeah, let's give that a go. It's now time for the wood paint. Mama, oh mama, won't you talk to your daughter about me? I said, Mama, oh, Mama, won't you talk to your daughter about me? She's a mean, mean lover and I ain't gonna leave her be. I won't stand no quit, she won't die. Okay, so I've now done four of these. Um, and I think they've come up really good. So we're now gonna move them into the tea room and see what they look like. Okay, so I've cleaned up the leather chairs, um, repaired them. So we've got four of them, five of them at the moment that are repaired. And then, um, and then I found four of these chairs. Um, I think these were just here when we got here. As you can see, they, they have got a leather, some sort of thin leather on them. It's just, there's no padding or anything, just thin leather. So um, I'm going to take that off. Try and get these off and um, and re-upholster these and give them a bit of a clean up because there's four of them. They're really lovely. Um, they're quite small, but I think they're going to be fine. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how they come out. I found some lovely fabric to do them in. Okay, so I've taken the leather off the chair so that I can use it as a template, cutting some foam out, cut some fabric out, and then I'm going to hem around the fabric, then staple gun it on and um, put my beading on. Let's go! Okay, so I've cut me a bit of foam, and this beautiful fabric is fabric that Sheila gave me, part of the batch that she gave me, it was in a bag, um, and I just think it's going to be gorgeous. So I've made my cover. Um, and it's now time to staple gun it onto the chair and then we'll do the beading. Chair done. Three more to go. She's a bit good at it. They do look good, don't they? Okay, so I've got to the last chair. The other three went really well, looked really great. But when I took the leather off the last chair, the underneath of it is just had it all broken up um, in pieces. So I'm going to need to get Ted to give me a bit of hand at this. But um, I think it'll just mean if he could cut out using the old one as a template, cut out um, a piece of thin board to go in there. Now that in, um, that should be fine. That's all that's come out of it, but um, it was rotting. So, um, so yeah, let's we'll see if Ted can help. If not, we might just have three of those chairs for the party. But I really want four. So, with a bit of help from Ted. I finally got my four chairs.
So it's now time to put them into their new home. What are you up to now, baby? Um, I'm doing a breakfast bar. So, uh, so I'm putting two sides on this um, contraption here. I've had to take the power off um, because we had the socket, and we will the socket will go back on to there, up there, which is where the fridge is going to go here. I've got to make a cabinet for the fridge. So that's it, really. Put the two sides on, make the cabinet for the fridge, and then put the worktop out. And, and the worktop here is the same as I've got over there, so should, they should be at the same height. Um, but I don't want anything supporting the end. So we're going to have, it's probably going to be six, six, 650 wide, but 650 wide takes me right over here. So I don't want that. I don't mind it being just a little bit. What the hell is wrong with that wall? Um, yeah. Uh, I don't mind it being a little bit over, but I don't want it. So I've got to take off a bit of the, the breakfast bar. Again, that leaves a raw edge which is annoying, but fixable. I want a little, a nice little curve, nothing special, just around there. So you've got enough room to sit um, either side of it and have for breakfast. And then there's a fridge underneath. Cool. And then there'll be a fridge in here, which is again, it's wide into there. We're going to have another pop-up, um, maybe there. We don't, we, it doesn't necessarily matter because we've got so many electric sockets in here. And we're really lucky with that. But it's just an added bonus that if we wanted to, you know, maybe somebody, because it's a small kitchen area, maybe they wanted to put a toaster or a coffee machine on here. The coffee machine might be nice when you're having, yeah. you go and get up to make yourself another coffee. Yeah. So, you know, we could have a little tray uh, with the thing. Because the, the, as I say, the, the worktop from here to here is going to be 120 millimetres. So, sorry, 120 centimetres. Um, so it will be nice and, and big, but you'll have about 400, just enough to sit, perch on the end. And that's what, that's what we want. I just think we need to get some, maybe some artwork on the walls. Yeah. Um, a little bit of that, you know, it, it looks really clean and tight, but it needs to have that little sort of homely feel. Yeah. So we get some artwork and perhaps we get some of our... It would be really nice to get some before and after pictures as well in some frames. Yeah, I'd like to do that. And I like to black and white them, you know. Yeah. Like, so yeah, they're all black and white. Yeah. Um, because I think they look nice and dramatic. Yeah. On the, on the thing. That would be brilliant. Cool. I'll crack on then, shall I? You better crack on, baby. I think I forgot um, the coffee. So we've made the cabinet for the fridge. Um, out of our furniture board and this is a, another piece of work top or you know the thicker furniture board 28 mil um, we've got another pop-up because we liked them so much we bought another one and this will go in here what I'm doing at the moment is um, I've cut a hole with a hole saw um, just to give me the outline which is fantastically the same um, diameter um, as the fixing for that so this screws into this so this will be located into here obviously the other way around but I'm just seeing if it's nice and you know that sort of flush slightly below it to be honest with you but it's it's as good as I can get with the stuff I've got um, I've just routed out the bottom of that then now what I will do is cut the hole which will house this part of it which then that screws into place there, and then this literally screws into that, and then hopefully um, this whole this affair will be flush with the tabletop, which is nice, isn't it? So it's a nice way to do it. I think I've gone through. Uh, I've <laughs> gone through underneath. Yeah. <laughs> I've gone through it completely. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, I've gone through. I've gone through here. <laughs> I thought we was going a bit deep. <laughs> mm, that's good, isn't it? Yeah, look, a nice little. So there, yeah. So, um, I don't know where the brush the in is. The in is. So that's yeah. It's almost like this is really nice stuff, but as soon as you break the surface of it. You know, unless your tools are massively, really sharp. So the idea is that that sits in there, like that. And it's super tight, which is lovely. There you go. And then that screws in the top of there. Done. Da -da. I've got a hole all the way through. All the way through the bottom bench. Should we have a look at this, look? Schoolboy error. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Nobody will ever notice. What's that? Nothing? <laughs> What's that now? What's that hole then? Nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, can't see no hole. Yeah, so this is actually, yeah, it's in case I want to put one of them in the bench. <laughs> Just, just thought I'd do that, you know, just in case. There you go, job done. Cool. So, we're as ready as we can be. This is 11.2, by the way. Um, that was party week. Um, and we are literally up against the wire. It's about five to three. And neither of us have had a shower. We had dripping wet because it's 32 degrees outside. So we better go and have a good old wash up and hope nobody arrives bang on time. So keep watching. We'll show you the clip of the party and a little um, announcement that we had to make at the party. And um, we had to make. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, next week is going to be very different. You're going to have videos on Tuesdays, Thursday and Sunday. Tuesday's going to be the Brocant, a visit to the Brocant, getting all of the items that we bought to fin finish the uh, apartment one and uh, the tea room. Thursday is going to be outtakes and funnies. That's all of the outtakes and funny parts from last month. And Sunday, we're going to give you a complete walk through the garden, around the tea room and into apartment one and show you what we've finished so far. It seems fantastic. It seems absolutely brilliant that we're at that stage. Um, you know, I'm super proud of both of us. I am too. Thank you so much for your support and your continued brilliant comments and suggestions and everything. Please like and subscribe all you can on every platform that we do that would be lovely and to be honest we wouldn't have got this far if it weren't for no, you guys absolutely. really rooting us on um you know watching the ads to give us a little bit of money the patrons yeah. we can't thank you no, enough no. and everyone that donated to the gofundme page yeah, and, um, buy, me and the buy me a coffee thank you so Wonderful. much and my registry list thank you so much for all the bits and pieces which are hopefully going to be utilized very very soon yes Okay, take care, everyone, and we'll see you on Tuesday. See you Let's Tuesday. go get ready for a party. Bye. Bye. Got a little change in my pocket going jingle lingle ling. Won't to call you on the telephone, baby. Give you a ring. Each time we talk, I get the same old thing. Always no hugging, no kissing, till I get a winning ring. My honey, my baby, don't put my love upon no shelf. She said, don't hand me no lines and keep your hands to yourself. Keep your hands to yourself.
First of all, I'd like to say, and I charge your glasses, please, and say a big happy birthday to this lady um, who, about nine, ten years ago, saved my life. Completely saved my life. Um, I love her more than anything else in the world. Uh, yeah, apart from my dog. <laughs> and uh, MP, uh, it's not on the stand, MP, but the other guitar. <laughs> um, yeah, and um, it's, uh, yeah, please, Toaster, happy birthday, Lisa. I love you loads. Thank you very much. And one um, other thing is, I don't know, as uh, quite a lot of you know, um, on Tuesday um, this week, I asked her to marry me, and she said yes. We would like to say a huge thank you to all of our supporters, from our patrons to our GoFundMe donors, the people that are buying us a coffee on Go Buy Me A Coffee, and you, our subscribers, each week watching the adverts for us to give us a little bit of income each month. Even if it just adds up to a bag of sand, it all helps. Take care, everyone. See you all next week. Bye-bye. Someone to share my dreams Someone